Welcome to Joey C TV, guys. At this rate, I'm not gonna make it to the gym anytime soon because I keep finding abandoned place after abandoned place. And you guys know that I'm on vacation visiting my kids. Look at this place, it's awesome. Had to stop and film it real quick. Plus, several other places. I don't know how the videos are all gonna come out because I did like kind of a hodgepodge of so many different places have a live stream tonight and also some creepy places at night you're coming with look at this creepy abandoned house now I don't know anything about it it's on the side of a road it looks incredibly awesome I don't know if it's accessible or not at all so that's unbeknownst to me and it does appear that it's got a padlock on it in the front so let's see check out this property real quick again um, I never break into a place if it's open I might peek in. <laughs> uh, don't know anything about this one, and looks like there's a collapsed structure behind it as well. Like they definitely kept the animals back here. Yeah, this place is boarded up pretty tight. So, respectfully, we'll just film the outside. It's weird, I thought I heard something. We could peek through the windows. Am I climbing through the windows? Absolutely not. Yeah. Looks like people come in here and spray painted a lot of this place and wow. I wish I could get in there. Creepy, man. Huh. It's all kinds of thorn bushes and... Oh, look at this. A beautiful flower grows here. And there's so much, guys, there's so much traffic. Yeah, it's locked. At least it appears to be. Oh, it's a, it's a broken lock. I don't know guys, scary ass place. Hello? was open.
that was open to. stairs are very questionable. Exit this place. Crosses all over the door, look at that. All right, well that was kind of interesting, different little perspective of this place, but I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I don't wanna stay too long. Like I said, this is in the middle of the day on a busy road. <laughs> and I uh, hope you're enjoying these videos because uh, they're certainly fun to make. Creepy place. Uh, it's possible we picked up something in there, you never know. Can't wait to see the footage back. Love and peace. How cool is this place, huh? Have no idea what it what it was. Man, this is pretty wild. It's filled with all kinds of what looks like antiques. Oh, check that out. There's all kinds of stuff in here, guys. Bicycles, toys, old toys. Look at that. How, how interesting. What was this place, I wonder? I mean, clearly it's locked up. Makes you wonder what this place was used for. Is it an old antique shop that's abandoned? Uh, it's pretty cool. We'll check around the building. Again, I'm on my way to the gym. And on my way to the gym every day, I find these cool places. So I've been filming them. Like I said, I want to get back from this trip with as many places as I could film and still enjoy my time with my family. I get this old barn. Really, really neat stuff. Again, how very, very cool. There's all kinds of antiques in there. Huh. Oh, dang. I wish it was open, but, you know, place that's not open, we never go into. We never break into places. That's an absolute fact. Huh, just an interesting place. Look at this old foundation. It's all rocks. <laughs> this is a really old building, probably from the turn of the century.
and there's some really cool old houses around here as well. So a lot of a lot of these I'm gonna do all different types of videos on this channel, urbex videos, scary videos. Sometimes when we do these urbex videos we pick up scary stuff. That happens as well. Look at that cool old barn. I wonder if I can get to it. I mean, I can, it's just... That I gotta walk through stuff. And actually, there's an abandoned house next to it. Look at that. How neat, guys. I mean, these have been here probably, I mean, who knows how long. Probably from the early 1900s, late 1800s. There's this place too, but it's not that easy to get to. I suppose we can try from, from the road to get to it this way back again. Very cool. There is a house and a truck right there, so I want to be respectful of other people's property. Um, so we'll just film it from here. Doesn't look like there's really much there. But that barn was cool. And uh, so many like thorn bushes on the ground that I'm walking through. They grab a hold of your legs. <laughs> Anyway, what a cool place. A um, lot of toys in there. I love antique toys. And this place has a bunch of them. Alright guys, off to the next place. All right, just walking up to this place is very creepy. My pants are also falling down. I got my flashlight and keys in there. Wow, look at all this I gotta walk through. There's also a road back there. The staircase is pretty well rotted away. There's a lot of matted down. Okay. There's a smell of something medicinal, big time. So, why am I smelling something medicinal? All right, I've got to think about this for a second. This is for 
the cutting room floor, folks. The floor is gone. There's a smell of something medicinal, which leads me to believe that uh, this was used for some type of lab. And that is straight up poison. I mean, it is really overbearing. So, that being said, this will just be a clip in <laughs> something else. Like I said, trying to find places, guys. I'm trying to be, uh, you know, using uh, more caution. Some people say, well, that's a good idea. Some people say no. But uh, after getting hit with a broom in the stomach the other night, uh, yeah. And uh, there's toxins in there. You could, it's just coming out through the door. All right, I know I said this before, and I'll say it again. What a creepy place. I mean, it doesn't look like anybody's been here in quite some time. Hello? Is anybody in there? Nasty cobwebs. Oh. Yeah. It's a shame, really. I guess this probably was somebody's nice house at one time. Alright, so that was pretty creepy. It's, again, it's so cold, guys. I'm not used to this. You know, I'm a Florida person now. So this is like freezing ice, freezing cold. There's all kinds of cars passing by. They're probably like, what is this maniac doing out here? Um, but then there's this place next door to it. Look at this. So. I think this was an upholstery uh, shop. Wow. 
wow. Look at this. There's still all like the stuff in here. Like it's a shame. It's like, I mean, it's locked. I'm certainly not climbing through here. But look at that. You could see all the stuff left behind. What a cool place. Now again, the store is locked. Somebody broke the glass. We certainly don't want to go in there. There's no open door, so that's my signal to uh, stay the heck out. But my camera can look inside. So if you look in here, in the back, there's all sorts of like materials for sewing, I guess. Upholstery up on the back over there on the on the shelves. Computer stuff. A really messed up microwave. There's another one over there. There's tools, there's paints, there's thread. There's a if you look over here too, there's a really cool like painting over there up against the wall. Huh. Alright, well, we're not going inside there, like I said, never go inside a place that is locked. Uh, this house is unbelievably creepy, there's an old dog house right there. But like I said, where I'm at, there's a gazillion, I mean there's a, so many abandoned places, it's ridiculous. Anyway guys, I'll try to film some more before I leave if possible, and uh, alright, I'll catch you later, love and peace. Welcome to Joey C TV guys. It's freezing where I am. Just got out of the gym and this house up on the hill looks scary. I don't know anything about it. Like I said, there's a million abandoned places around here. Um, came up uh, out of state to uh, see my kids. It was a great time, broken hearted to leave, but so blessed and thankful to have them in my life. So what a great trip. Trying to make some videos for you guys on the way. Don't know much about this place. Had a lot of failed attempts here. Hopefully this is not one of them you're coming with. Hearing dogs. All right, so like I said, I don't know much about this place. What in the heck is going on here? There's definitely tire tracks up here. And man, what a creepy pl place. Alright, I gotta get that. That's my sister calling, so I'll call her back when I'm done with this. Man. So this will very likely be the last video I do here and uh, watch the Super Bowl and then head home. Where are all those dogs coming from? Like the... <sighs> I don't know too much about this, but man, this looks scary as can be. And my pants are falling down, my sweats, because I have a uh, flashlight in one pocket, my cell phone in the other. <laughs> and if I have to run out of here, I'll be running out of here with my pants around my ankles. Good heavens, this is scary, even in the daytime. Coming. 
the weirdest thing, man. I don't want to get attacked by dogs. Same thing happened when I went to the chapel the other night. again. It's unbelievable, man. All right. Don't know anything about this house. It's been sitting for years, abandoned, obviously. There's like two ways in, there's this way. Okay, this is unbelievable, guys. I smell that same medicinal smell that I smelt at the trailer. What the hell? stuff everywhere but somebody's been getting in here look there's toys everywhere Dogs like getting real close. Okay. Yo, look at that doll head. What the heck? Sorry, guys, if I seem apprehensive. Because those dogs. Yo. This is like some Texas Chainsaw Massacre type weird stuff, man. Like I said, I'm gonna have a hodgepodge of videos. Um, Yeah, going in there is really just not. I don't know what I'm stepping on. An option. Look at that. No, thank you. Hey, what's up, Tigger? I used to have that same, actually for Lindsay, that same, uh, same stuffed animal, Tigger. Hello? Sometimes 
going in is a really bad idea. Actually, every time going in is a really bad idea. Thorns stuck in me, man. So, something is really weird about this place. Besides the absolute obvious. And look, everything's matted down. That's what bothers me. Like, there's people that come here. Something comes here. Sorry about that. I had to run out of there. There was a ginormous, <laughs> I don't know what it was, animal running or a person or something I could see like gray. Hopefully I caught that on camera, but it was running towards me. Ooh, you know I'm afraid of animals, guys. And I'm pretty sure it was a big animal. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I gotta laugh at myself. Holy mackerel. I'm done filming. And I'm gonna go enjoy the Super Bowl. You guys love and peace. Whew. Have a good night. Alright guys, this is really cool. So the owner of this junkyard is like, yeah, you can go film. So here we are, checking it out. And uh, like I said, I'm leaving tonight, but this is real close to where I'm staying. And uh, it looks really cool. Look at that. Old Chrysler 300. He says that like the yard that he had here, he's no longer able to uh, really care for because it's just him. So the junkyard's kind of abandoned now. So we'll check it out. Look at that old Ram. Love this stuff, guys. Love it. An old square body Chevy uh, tow truck. Probably was once towing cars this yard. Now it's in the yard. And I'm also holding, um, I, I got my hands full. My pants are falling down because I have my sweats on. And uh, I also have my phone and the uh, holder for the phone to do little uh, other videos here for like TikTok and so forth. Look at that, Xterra. Well, it looks like it was in good shape when it was brought in. Oh, look, there's a Volkswagen back there. How cool is that? So these cars are relatively newer vehicles here. Look at this F-150 rolled over. Look at this uh, old Trans Am, probably a late 80s, early 90s. Oh good, I'm getting a potential spam call. As if I don't get enough of those, right?
I mean, honestly, some of these cars look to be in pretty good shape. Like, look at that van. Looks like it's in nice shape, right? That Jeep over there looks pretty nice. Like, look at that Jeep. And that Cadillac over there now. That looks in nice shape, but uh, those cars have the North Star engine. And unfortunately, the head, the head gasket always goes and ruins the car pretty much. And of course, there's a Volkswagen. It's all moldy in there now. Having the windows down. Mercedes. I mean, honestly, some of these cars look to be reasonably good shape body-wise. Anyway, guys, I gotta start getting ready to head home. I filmed so much. This will be just a little bonus. Look at that, the Jolly Rancher old cop car. What's up with that? Somebody thought that was a great idea, apparently. Must love Jolly Ranchers. Look at this, the Marshals Department. Huh. U.S. Marshals car. Unfortunately, you see a lot of these Ford Explorers in the junkyard, man. Lots of them. Think seen a better day, huh? All right, guys, I'm gonna head out. Love and peace.